Hey, I'm Tom Cheswick, and thank you so much for joining me today as we learn about textures using On One Photo Raw 2022. I love adding textures to my images. I think it's a great way to add a really neat enhancement. And one of the best ways is to shoot on a gray background. If you use a middle gray tone, it's very easy to add textures to your images. Um, I did this one with green. That was very easy. Let's look one a little bit more challenging. Um, so this image of Brooklyn, I knew when I took it, I wanted to add textures to it. So let's take a look at what I did. We'll open this up under edit and take a look at everything I did. All of this is applied in the effects for textures. And for the first texture, I added from the paper category, rice paper dark. I love how this one looks. So if we kind of zoom into the face, we'll notice that the texture is applied over the entire image and we want it just on the background. So all we need to do is go up to the mask, select the mask, and the easiest way for me is let on one do most of the work. So let's use the AI quick mask. And here we just decide what to keep and what to drop. Dropping would be on Brooklyn. We don't want the texture on her. The easiest way to do that is just start going down. Uh, kind of a shortcut is once you uh, place a dot, you can press the shift key and mouse click again and again and again and it will just draw it. I'm using the bracket keys to make it a little bit smaller as we're getting down towards the feet but the shift key is pressed and it automatically creates that line. Now I let go of the shift key because otherwise it will draw a line from foot to foot. Now I'm pressing the shift key as I click. Click, click, click. Highlight, shadow, try to get different tones. Okay, no need to be super precise. Perfect. Next we want to, I'm just gonna click the highlight over there. Okay, next we want to uh, select the keep. And the keep is everything on the background. So we'll just draw a little bit here, here. You don't have to be precise and you can always clean it up if we need to make any adjustments. A1 is calculating the mask and it did a pretty nice job here. Okay, so even though a little bit of the hair is there, if we kept it just like this, it would be fine. Textures can kind of blend into hair and parts and not make a big difference, but we do want to drop it. So let's select drop. And just to show you how you can re-edit the mask. Okay, so by filling in that little area, we have a nice clean mask. Let's hit done. It even refines the mask a little bit more. And there we go. So we have the rice paper. And one thing to point out is I did desaturate this rice paper. It has quite a bit of warmth to it. I'm going to be adding color from another filter. So there's no need to double up. So that's why I desaturated. We took time, we created a mask and we can use that mask on other images. So we're going to hit copy. We'll go to the next filter and on this one we're using Autumn Whimsy and you can download this for free on the On One Photo site. So let's take a quick look where I got that. Excellent. So we are here on the OnOne.com and if you use my discount code listed below the video, you'll receive 20% off of anything. 
But the neat thing is just to try this program out, you can try it for free for 14 days. And if you decide to use it, use my discount code and save 20%. But what we're doing using now is some of their free creative assets. And in the search, I'm just going to put in textures and perfect look at all these free assets you can use so i downloaded the autumn whimsy and that's what we're using now okay so that looks awesome but let me show you how we got there because again the texture will reset it and you'll notice it goes through brooklyn's face and skin and body and clothing so all we have to do is paste in that texture we just created. But one thing you'll notice is we lost some of the coloring that this texture adds. Remember, I desaturated one, but on this one, I'm leaving in the color. I did take a little bit out. You can even bump it up just so you can kind of see it. Okay, so it kind of gives the color pop. It's almost like adding a LUT. If we take it off of Brooklyn, we lose the color on her, but there's an easy way to add it back. Okay, so let's add the same texture a second time, but use just the coloring on Brooklyn. So the way that we do that is we come, turn on here, we look for Autumn Whimsy, use the same one, Again, it applies the texture and color, and this time it's going over the entire image. What we want to do is paste in that mask that we originally did, but we want to do the opposite. We just want it to affect Brooklyn and not the background. So the way that we do that is just click on invert. And now we have the color, but we also have the texture. So if we go up to the gear icon next to texture under blending options, we want to select color. All right, now we just have that rich color pop on Brooklyn. You can see it's not huge, but it does definitely add and it kind of ties in the entire image. That's awesome there. We're getting really close. Well, you could be done here. When shooting a background that has depth, you're not going to have the sharpness going through the entire image. So that's where I created a blur. Okay, so I use lens blur from the filters menu and blurred it out pretty much how I liked it. So you don't want to blur out the entire background because that wouldn't look right either because if her feet are sharp and her body is sharp then there's a focal line of sharpness going through that background and that's what i did here i removed the the blur off of brooklyn and then i painted in a horizontal line going across her feet and if we see the mask, that's what it looks like. Awesome. So let's go back to normal view. And that's our finished image. Thanks so much for joining me for today's tutorial on using textures. I hope you enjoyed it. And be sure to hit the like and also subscribe for any upcoming videos. Also, be sure to use that discount code, save some money. This On One Photo Raw is an amazing program. You're going to love it. Definitely check out the 14 day trial. And if you do decide to get it, use my discount code, save some money. Bye bye.